Hey, 8th grade, this is now the last video I'll be making today. Um, it's almost noon here. Jeez, man. All right, um, and so let's go really quickly. We are now on the States of Matter section. Bottom line here is I am just going to tell you what the motion in all the different uh, States of Matter is um, of the atoms. So let's go real quick here. Let's just do, 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 okay. So in a... Let's just start with a solid. We got a solid here. Put a liquid right here. Whoa, that looks weird. And I guess. Okay. Um, so what do the particles in a solid look like? Well, they are tightly packed. And the key thing is that they, whoa, they vibrate. They are not still. That's the thing that probably make you feel like probably think they are still, but they actually are kind of vibrate and they're packed very tightly. So I'm going to draw a little poor drawing of this in a jar down here. So whoa, that's me pressing the wrong button there. So they're tightly packed, kind of like this. Whoa, and they can't move around so much. All right, tightly packed. Got it, guys? That's right there. Tightly packed. Okay. Um, also, just as a reminder, there are two different types of solids, like a solid solid, which we would call a crystalline solid, which is like a rock of some kind, um, or it doesn't always have to be, like uh, sugar is a crystalline solid. We also have another type of solid, which we call an amorphous solid. Whoa. I spelled that all wrong. Amorph O-U-S. All right, guys. And then butter is an example of that, okay? A liquid, on the other hand, uh, the particles are less tightly together, um, loosely packed, loosely, well, that's wrong, spelled wrong again, okay? And they can flow around. The main word that people use to describe a liquid is free to flow, okay? So they're not just vibrating in place, their vibrations are making them move around, okay? But they're still kind of tightly packed, but they can move now. Whoa, 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 okay? So, yeah, they're in there, but there's a little bit more space for them to move around and do their thing, okay? Which is move around. <laughs> and there you go, we'll call this free to flow. Okay, um, just with the liquid, just keep in mind, a liquid is an example of a fluid, that's a vocab word, just keep that in mind. Also, there are two main properties of a liquid you're going to need to make sure you know, which is viscosity, which I actually think is a really cool word, which means the resistance to flow, how much it doesn't move around. Like, for example, honey is very viscous, or maple syrup, or... I don't know, other things like that, okay? Another characteristic of water is surface tension, okay? We didn't go a lot into this, but surface tension is basically a force of that water pushes back up. Um, and surface tension is why leaves float on water and why when you pour a big glass of water, it doesn't spill over the top all the time. Yeah, all right. And the last um, state of matter, gas, is uh, what's happening with the particles is that they're more spread out. Okay, so let's just say spread out. And basically, whoa, that's a spread, guys. I don't know. Spread out and moving around all crazy. Okay. Does that make sense if I say that? Okay. All crazy. They're just bouncing off each other and slapping stuff and pretty and like hitting each other and all that kind of stuff okay so here's a gas well it's got a top on it now here let's put a top on it whoa because you know the gas would get out um and here's a gas here's a molecule there there's one there there's one there and they're moving here that's the direction it's moving what does that do that Pew. Pew. all right whatever they're moving everywhere okay guys um yeah and that's the end thanks a lot